Hi, everybody. My name is Tiffany Bloomhorst, the Assistant Director of the Ohio Professional Registry. I will be talking about the new school age endorsement and showing you step by step on how to apply through your registry profile today. I will be referencing the Child Care Manual Procedure Letter 119 found on the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services website, as well as our Resources tab, and we'll be using the OPR to show you how to apply for this endorsement. Let's first take a look at the benefits of the school age endorsement and how they affect you. First, let's take a look at our resources. You can find the information about the school age endorsement under the Credentials and Endorsements tab. Let's take a look at the endorsement overview. Listed under Benefits is where you will find how this school age endorsement will benefit you as the professional. A big reason you'd be interested in the school age endorsement is to meet step up to quality staff qualifications. It also provides you with 20 hours of state sponsored, school age specific, Ohio approved online professional development. These training hours count toward your PD certificate and the courses are available at no cost and 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To be eligible for the school age endorsement, you must be working in a center or family child care program regulated by Ohio Department of Job and Family Services or Ohio Department of Education, where school age children are enrolled. Next, here are the guidelines for the school age endorsement. As you can see, there are three levels of the school age endorsement. School age endorsement one, assistant teacher, school age endorsement two, lead teacher, and school age endorsement three, administrator. These endorsements build on each other, so anyone wishing to apply would have to apply for the school age endorsement one first, obtain the endorsement, and apply for the second endorsement should you meet the requirements. The endorsement requirements are laid out in the procedure letter and on this OPR overview card. The requirements for school age endorsement one assistant teacher includes a minimum experience of 200 hours in a program serving children in any age group and four prescribed courses listed here for a total of 10 Ohio approved training hours. The requirements for school age endorsement two lead teacher would be that they currently hold a valid school age endorsement one, must have a minimum experience of 600 hours in a program serving children in any age group. They must also complete the two prescribed courses listed here and five hours of professional selected Ohio approved professional development for a total of 10 additional hours of Ohio approved training. The requirements for the school age endorsement three administrator would be that they currently hold a valid school age endorsement two. They must have minimum experience of 1400 hours with 800 hours in a program serving school age children. They must complete the two prescribed courses listed here and five hours of additional Ohio approved professional development for a total of 10 hours. Now you know what the school age endorsement is and how it can benefit you as the professional. Let's now take a look at how you actually apply for the endorsement through your registry profile. Once you have registered and completed all four required courses for the school age endorsement one, you can proceed with the application process. You will find the application for the endorsement under the applications tab in your profile. If for some reason you do not have all requirements met, the system will not let you open the application. For example, Susie has not completed one of the requirements of the endorsement, and this is how the application will show in her profile. If you hover over the I icon, it will tell you the prerequisites to start the application. The following must be completed prior to being allowed to access the application for the school age endorsement. You must have all required trainings verified in your profile. You must have verified education in your profile and at least one open employment record. Once these requirements have been met, the application link will turn blue, providing you the opportunity to complete the application. Let's take a look at Sally Jones. You can see she has met all the requirements to complete the application and the link is now blue for her to click on. 
Prior to opening the application, it is suggested that you first be sure your registry profile is up to date and accurate. Remember, you must have verified education and an open employment record in your profile before the application will open. Now is a good time to update that. When you are ready to complete the application, you can click on the link titled School Age Endorsement Application. Once inside the application, you will see basic information pulled from your registry profile at the top of the application. You will not be able to edit this information as it is pulled directly from your profile. There are four accordions that you can click on to expand. The first is personal information. The personal information section will pull over all basic information from your account tab, which includes your email, address, and phone number. If this is incorrect, please click Save as Draft at the bottom of the application, then go back to your profile to update the information. You can return to the application at any time. The next section is for education. Your highest education in your profile will be pulled over into this section. Remember, you must have a minimum of a high school diploma or equivalency verified in your profile to apply. The highest education level will be displayed here and it will also mark whether the degree is related or unrelated. The next section is for employment. You will see any employment from your profile here. You must select an employment record that qualifies you for the endorsement. Remember, those qualifications are that you must be working in a center or family child care program regulated by ODJFS or ODE where school age children are enrolled and that record cannot be end dated. In this instance, Sally only has one employment record in her profile. So that's what we will select today. The last accordion tab in the application is the professional development tab. And that will display your current and previous career pathway level and your professional development certificate that is shown at the top of your registry profile. These four sections do not have an option to edit. They are pre-populated from your profile and would need to be updated from within your profile for them to change within the application. The next section is the training requirements. The training requirements section will display the required training name, confirming the training has been verified in your profile, and the number of hours it was approved for. The last section at the bottom of the application is the section for you to upload a PDF of your employer letter confirming your professional experience. You can upload more than one document, but they must all be a PDF. Once you have submitted a letter stating your professional experience meets the requirements for the endorsement you are applying for, you can save and submit your application in the bottom right hand corner. If you're not quite ready to submit the application, you can also save the application as a draft. This will put it back into your Applications tab and you can access it anytime. But for today, we're ready and we're going to submit the application. As you can see, the current status at the top of the application has changed to Submitted. And it now displays a timestamp of the last update. If you scroll down, and click back to applications, it will take you back to your profile where you can view your application under the applications tab. This is where you can find and update any applications and view the status. The application has now been submitted to our application queue. Once the staff member reviews the application, you will get a notification about the status change on your flag. If there are any additional actions needed, the status here will update to additional info needed and there will be an eye icon that will provide a note letting you know what the items you need to review and correct. You can also then resubmit the application for review. For this example, we have now verified the application for the School Age Endorsement 1 Assistant Teacher for Sally Jones. You will now see under her Applications tab, it is now has a submitted date, an approved date, and the expiration date along with the status of now approved. You can view the credential and endorsement under the credentials tab. You will see she now has a school age endorsement one assistant teacher verified in her profile. If you click the print certificate, it will populate a PDF document with all of the necessary information for the school age endorsement. This concludes our walkthrough of the school age endorsement and application process. 
If you have any additional questions, please go to the Resources tab. Click on Credentials and Endorsements, and all of the school age endorsement information is down at the bottom of the page. Thank you.